PARP inhibitors are FDA-approved drugs, which are often used in cancer therapy. The idea in brief, a misfunctioning DNA damage repair in tumor cells is abused to push cells to undergo apoptosis. PARP inhibitors, as already mentioned, are drugs which are not exclusively, but mainly used to treat cancer patients. PARP inhibitors are especially efficient if the patients have a misfunctioning DNA damage repair, such as a BRCA1 mutation. Before explaining the mechanism of action, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell. As the name already suggests, PARP inhibitors inhibit PARP. But what is PARP? PARP is short for poly-ADP ribose polymerase and those enzymes belong to a protein family whose members are involved in DNA repair. PARP proteins detect DNA damage in form of single-strand breaks. Once PARP has bound to the DNA, it changes its structure and begins to synthesize a chain of polymeric ADP ribose, short PAR. This molecule signals the recruitment of DNA repair proteins. The members of this DNA repair machinery can successfully repair the single-strand break. As we have seen, PARP is an extremely important player to prevent damage in a normal cell. In cancer cells, however, DNA damage might be exploited. Now we can take a look at the PARP inhibitors which inhibit the DNA damage repair. Inside the therapeutics are molecules that are referred to as PARP inhibitors. Those will bind to PARP and block the catalytic action of the DNA repair enzyme. In this case, PARP can not synthesize PAR and thus the DNA single-strand break repair proteins are not recruited. The single-strand break remains. During replication, the single-strand break can result in a more severe DNA double-strand break. In normal cells, double-strand breaks can be repaired by mechanisms such as homologous recombination. Tumor cells, however, often harbor numerous mutations causing a defective double-strand break repair. If this double-strand break remains unrepaired, and this is especially the case in patients with a BRCA1 mutation, it is likely to cause genomic instability and this can end up in apoptosis. In brief, the aim of the PARP inhibitor as an effective therapeutic is to eliminate cancer cells or at least make them more sensitive to other treatments in combination with radiation or chemotherapy. However, PARP inhibitors are no perfect drugs. The application comes along with potential side effects. The most common ones are hemotoxicity, vomiting and nausea. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, ask them in the comment section. Check out this video here and if you have not done it yet, please subscribe. Bye.